Hey guys, Slink here with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to extremely quickly, very, very quickly, um, generate a cool sounding glitch hop bass line. It might not be perfect, but it'll be enough to sort of get the creativity started, you know, get those ideas rolling in your head and then build off of that. So it's a good place to start if you're sort of stuck with just a MIDI idea like I have here. So in this example, I've just got some drums, a little bit of an idea, and I've laid a bass line, uh, a sub underneath that. So let's take a listen. So yeah, it's pretty basic, but we want to make it like cool and glitchy and crazy. So what we're going to do is drag in a sampler on a new MIDI channel. And we'll go into our sample library, and this is a great time to use all those bass one shots that you probably have lying around in your sample library. I really like this Black Octopus Sound Levian sample pack because there is a ton of bass one shots and they're all labeled with the keys. So it's not very hard to figure out, you know, which one's which. So let's just, uh, I don't know, let's take these B samples here and we'll drag them all into the sampler. And then on the zone, we'll open that up and we'll, with all the samples selected, you can just um, press Control A. Right click over here and go distribute ranges equally. And that's gonna spread all those different samples across the keyboard. And then we'll come over here and pull the root key down for all of those. See how they sort of all cascade and then all line up to the center there. Now they're all set to negative C, uh, C negative two. And we know that these are B samples, so we'll drag this up to B, B0. It's a bit further. B0. There we go. And now if I press the C key, it's always the same sample. Let's try a different key like uh, F. So you can see the keyboard is selecting different notes because we have these ranges selected. Um, but the, the note is the correct note. Like if I press the, the C key, that is a C and the sample is playing a C, even though it's a B sample, if you know what I'm saying. So what we wanna do is figure out a way to randomize which, which sample it's playing, but also maintain the right key that we're pressing, like the right in MIDI information that we're inputting into this device. So if we're pushing a C, we want it to always be a different sound, but we always want it to be a C. And the best way to do that is to come over to this tab here, the pitch and oscillator tab, and modulate the ZN shift. So watch this. If I just push a C, now I'm going to move this up a bit. That's still a C, but it's a different sound. So you probably know where I'm going with this <laughs> as I open up the Max for Live tab. We're going to use an LFO to modulate the ZN shift. We'll just turn the rate all the way up so it's just whipping back and forth like crazy. And now I'm going to mash the C key on my MIDI keyboard as fast as I can and you'll hear all these different sounds. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So what happens if we just take our MIDI information and slap it right on this little device we've made here. Let's check it out. Let's come in here and turn the volume up to default zero. Yeah, I could use some side chain maybe, here we go. So you can see every time it cycles through this loop, it's always different. And what you can do is just create a new uh, audio channel, set it to resampling, um, or actually send the output of this channel into a new audio channel and just hit record. And you'll just get a bounce of all the random sounds that you're getting. And then you can cut out any weird ones or adjust it a little bit if you like. But maybe let's take this a little step further and we'll put this whole device in a group 
and we'll create another device similar to it with maybe some different sounds. Let's see what happens with that. Set up this LFO first. Let's map that to there, set the rate all the way up and we'll go back to the samples. So let's see, let's take, um, let's take a bunch of G samples here. We'll throw them in and we'll just distribute the ranges equally. Same as before, we'll turn the root key all the way down and we know that's a G, so we'll turn this up to G0. There we go. And we'll do a little macro knob here, maybe. Let's um, map this to macro one and map this to macro one. And then we can set this up so that it's, set that to one, set this to zero and set this to one. So if I did that right, hopefully, yeah, all the, the knob all the way to the left turns one of these devices on and one of these devices off. And then as soon as I move it to the other side, it flips them, it reverses them. So we can come in the automation tab here and just maybe randomly switch out the samples, you know, so we always get a different result. Let's try that. <laughs> you can tell which ones I uh, haven't turned the volume up on yet. Let's try that again. And maybe we'll just try um, bouncing this down. So I'm going to send the output of this into this channel here. Um, set that to auto. Hit record and let's go. So there's definitely some loops in there that sound a bit weird and uh, it's a good thing that I took three loops here because now we can sort of line them all up here like this and figure out which parts we like, which parts we don't like. Let's just listen to each one individually. Yeah, I don't like that part so much. <laughs> okay, let's try, let's start this. Let's start this again. Not so sure about those sounds. Yeah, I'd like some like fatter sounds there maybe. Especially that laser. I don't like that laser. So what do we have here? I think this is the MVP right here. Let's put that up there. That's pretty fat. Let's maybe replace that. That sounds cool. Okay, I think I want this part and then this part. That should sound cool. Yeah. I think this sounds the best. So now we've got like one decent loop. Actually, 
actually, now that I think about it, I'm not so keen on that sound there. <laughs> That's kind of quirky. We could try that. And then we can just uh, come over to the right and start building a, a second loop. Let's just duplicate this and we'll come in, see which parts we like. I've already taken the parts that I've used, so this first sound is, is tight. Uh, I'm liking that part. What do we got down here? That sounds a little bit more legit. Let's roll with this. Maybe we'll go with this last sound here. Nope, that sounds weird. It's like late or something. I don't know what happened there. about that sound. Maybe we'll steal a piece from the original, the OG. Slap that in there. Yeah, let's put this on top. Let me rearrange this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, what do we have in this loop? I like all of that. Maybe we'll grab this sound. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> They're like reverses of each other. We'll take this section and this section. <laughs> Look at that. Randomly, but there's the same sound almost. Maybe we'll go with this instead. Deep. And what do we got here? We can go with the high pitch one, the harmonic one. Like this. Don't like any of those sounds. I like the first two sounds, but not the last one. So we'll just steal the last one from the original. That's a cool loop. Let me actually steal that. There we go. Yeah, not much happening in that loop. <laughs> We can take this part and this part. Cool. So I think we've grabbed the best bits out of all of that mess. <laughs> Let's slap it all together, see how it sounds. And maybe we can do... What's going on here? Yeah. Maybe we can... Um, just give it a little bit of compression. And we'll 
we'll roll off the bass because we've got the sub up here. All right, let's see what that sounds like. Let me turn off the glitch up bass line there. Cool. I think that's pretty cool and like it's definitely not perfect and it depends on like what sounds you have in your little randomizer device here but I definitely think that this is a cool place to start. Um, you can then go in further and change some of the sounds out and slowly improve this loop but I think it's like you know a good starting place. So cool. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Catch you next time. Peace. Thank you.